Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun of Stars, welcome to today's reading. For those who are new, my name is Cynthia, welcome, I hope you enjoy this reading. <laughs> um, so today's reading is going to be about what is changing in your life. The interesting thing is, my intention with this reading was um, your current reality, but there is always an energy floating in space. <laughs> before a change materializes right in front of us, right? We feel the shift. For those who are very, very in tune with their psychic abilities, you feel the shift that something is changing or something is in the air before it even happens, right? So this reading is going to be about what is changing in your life and the word is what is changing, which means what is currently manifesting, what is currently changing, what is up in the air when it comes to your life, okay? So that means whatever we're going to see in the reading today is the energy that is coming towards you that is changing and transforming your life, okay? So we're dealing with present energy, but the present energy is slowly but surely becoming one with future energy. And what kind of energy is that? What kind of change is coming to you? So in the next clip, you can choose between four beautiful images. If you feel like you cannot choose, close your eyes, let the number come to you. You can also use like a, I think it's called like a number generator. Just, just go with the flow, just go with your intuition. I don't want to talk too much. For those who want to follow me on Instagram, I will put the link down in the description box. I'll be posting daily messages in the future on my Instagram in case somebody's interested in it. And I would say we will get right into your reading now. <laughs> beautiful pie number one so you chose this beautiful image here let's find out what is changing in your life okay i'm just checking am i in focus i think so <laughs> okay guys um let's look at your cards okay i'm going to show them first to you so you see what i see and then we're going to talk about it. we have the six of wands which is the six of victory in this deck we have the knight of pentacles which is the gourmet chef here and we have the lover's card and we have the card prosperity okay so the first energy that i pick up here with you guys is that whatever change is coming to you or what is changing in your life what is transforming your life is you meeting 
some type of goal okay this card reminds me of somebody who who was running a marathon meaning they've been running for a while and all they wanted when they were running is to get to the finish line okay so there is an energy here the change that is coming to you is connected to some type of finish line finally arriving finally realizing a goal finally um finally getting to the point where you always wanted to be so this has something to do with um the finish line okay i'm also being brought to the song meet me halfway by black eyed peas where i think we're gonna look at the lyrics of the song at the end of your reading or i'm gonna link it down below there might be something in the music video or in the lyrics that is gonna spark your intuition and you know exactly what i'm talking about okay um, I'm feeling an energy here that the change that is coming to you has something to do with a relationship here, okay? To be quite honest with you, I'm feeling an energy because in the song Black Eyed Peas, Meet Me Halfway, there is, uh, the lyrics talks about meet me halfway right at the borderline, that's where I'm going to wait for you. Be looking out, not day. Took my heart to the limit and this is where I stay. So I feel an energy here that you're finally meeting a very, very important person, okay? For those who are already in a committed relationship, I want to say that what is changing in your life is you are meeting a soulmate in a platonic relationship here, okay? This is somebody... Um, when you look at this person okay for for those who already are in a committed relationship i feel like what is changing is there's a person coming into your life and you will feel like you look into a mirror okay this is almost an energy of like a twin flame or you meeting somebody that feels like when you look at them you look into your own eyes so there's an energy of like twin flame energy for those of you who already are in a committed relationship it is platonic okay so what is changing in your life is there's something about a friendship there's something about a connection that is really going to make you feel victorious is going to make you feel um, like you really found a very very beautiful soulmate in another person okay so this is like a, re a relationship or a um, friendship that is going to make you feel like I'm looking right into my own eyes this must be my soulmate this is a strong soulmate connection here that is coming into your life okay so I'm feeling here for those who are single this is your future spouse okay this is the person that you're meant to be with this is the person that you've dreamed of for a very long time because the card here um the knight of discs talks about um a waiting period okay in the song it's like meet me halfway right at the borderline that's where i'm going to wait so i'm feeling here what is changing in your life is something actually being in front of you you looking right into the eyes of your future spouse or looking right into the eyes of a new friendship or a soulmate where you feel like we are so alike yet so different okay so again this is either a beautiful friendship that is coming to you that will make you feel emotionally super duper happy okay i'm feeling here for a lot of you guys this could also pertain to a bigger friend circle or um people that you're meant to be friends with for the rest of your life okay so this is again this is not just like a, a little acquaintance here or a little flirt here what i'm seeing here is you finally becoming one with your soul tribe may it be finally meeting your future spouse in case you haven't already or you finally meeting the people that love you for who you are that look into your eyes and you look into this person's eyes this friend's eyes and you see yourself in them okay this is an energy where you are meeting if i could describe the energy okay it's almost like you put so much energy into the universe finally wanting to meet your soul tribe or finally wanting to have a bigger friend circle or finally meeting soulmates in platonic uh, relationships or in romantic relationships you put so much energy out into the universe that it is coming back to you or it's a boomerang here okay i feel an energy where you learned a lot about yourself and who you are as a person okay I almost want to say it feels like a reward for how much you've learned along the way about yourself and who you are as a person okay this almost feels like 
um, you know yourself in and out now and for that reason you will also attract people that reflect the truth of your soul and the truth of your spirit okay so there's something about you meeting the eyes of another person and seeing yourself in this person okay there's a strong energy here of a goal finally materializing after a long waiting period okay this didn't come uh, overnight i feel like you put out into the universe that you want to meet your future spouse and your soulmate or that you find that you want to have new friends or a new friend circle in your life for a very long time and i want to say it almost feels like do you know what i'm feeling here i'm feeling an energy of like um when you download something and you're waiting until it's 100 percent because this card here reminds me of a battery okay and i almost want to say the battery is on 100 percent which means you know like almost as if you download something on your excuse me on your laptop and you're waiting or you're installing something on your laptop and you're waiting you're waiting until it is 100 percent so you can use that new program that's what it feels like so whatever is changing in your life may pertain to fi you finally meeting your soul trap because i feel like it's more than one person here okay i almost want to say there is an energy of flourishing friendships and flourishing relationships here okay there's something about um an energy where you will feel abundant when it comes to your social life okay because we have the cartier prosperity but i'm not seeing that it is pertaining to financial matters i also want to say what is changing in your life is that you're extremely happy about the friends that you have in your life maybe old or new friends okay but i'm feeling for a lot of you guys it's like a new energy coming to you here um, i'm feeling an energy here what is changing in your life is that you really feel connected on a soul level to the people around you those new people that are coming into your life they are a mirror of you okay um the people that you're gonna meet they have the same mind as you maybe the same goals as you okay maybe they even want to do something similar to you let's say for example you are like a reiki practitioner or you are somebody who believes in meditation and spirit guides but your friends don't there's an energy where you are attracting people who believe in meditation just like you, who believe in spirituality just like you, who believe in like um, art just like you. There's an energy of you seeing yourself in other people and it makes you extremely happy because you feel like you can be yourself with this person, okay? There's an energy where... <laughs> What is changing in your life is that your friend circle and your partner is going to mirror who you truly are and the best version of yourself okay so i feel like there, there might be an energy of an upgrade in your friend circle or there might be an energy where um there is an upgrade to the person that you're gonna date okay maybe you've dated people that didn't have much determination maybe you you dated people that were confused that chose somebody else over you okay there's an energy where you broke a pattern when it comes to relationship okay spirit is letting me know that you broke a pattern here yeah you broke some type of pattern here because that red thread i think in english you say golden thread but it usually means like something that um, replaces itself over and over again like a pattern okay you're breaking a chain you're breaking a pattern when it comes to dating okay when it comes to choosing the right person to be in a relationship or when it comes to you really showing who you truly are and not hiding yourself anymore not hiding that you're quirky not hiding what you believe in okay i feel an energy because of that you broke some type of pattern some type of chain okay you broke a pattern or you broke a chain here you cut something somebody out of your life or you cut something out of your life meaning i no longer i have better boundaries or um my intuition i want to trust my intuition instead of my logic when it comes to dating there's something that you've changed when it comes to your friend circle or how you view love how you view true love how you view relationships and what you truly want okay with the prosperity card the card says give and expect the universe to give back to you believe that you are prosperous already have gratitude for everything you have okay and it says give and expect the universe to give back to you so i want to say what the universe is giving you 
or what is changing in your life there's something about relationships there's something about you finally meeting the love of your life okay so there's something about you expressing who you truly are and speaking your truth okay and not hiding anymore who you are that has a ripple effect on you finally becoming one it feels like you're finally becoming one with another energy okay if i could describe it in one sentence you're finally becoming one with another energy that reflects your soul and your spirit maybe platonic or romantic okay what is changing in your life is that you will have company along your way because to me it feels like for most of you guys you felt a little bit like you're doing this on your own here okay this person is running on their own so there could have been an energy of feeling like you're doing something on your own or you feel quite alone even if you even if you have friends maybe you found yourself feeling alone because i'm hearing sometimes i'm in a crowd but i'm still by myself is something that i'm hearing here so there could even be an energy where you have a big friend circle but they're not as much into meditation spirit guides to row they're not into that so you couldn't share you couldn't share your true self so what i'm feeling here is you are becoming one with another energy in another person that seems to feel like a twin flame maybe platonic or romantic okay and you can finally share all of you and your true self with another person okay so i'm feeling here a lot of you guys you're going to be in a committed relationship quite soon here so the change that is happening here is a committed relationship or a very very intense friendship okay where you will have a lot of i'm seeing here you guys will have a lot of dates you guys will go out together you guys will um how do you say that you guys will go a lot to restaurants bars we have a beautiful time together where you also i'm feeling here some type of like celebration okay so i'm feeling here what is changing in your life might be that you're going to get invited to a lot of celebrations or you're going to have like a bigger friend circle and you guys are going to go out a lot together here okay and you feel like you can be your true self um you're not hiding certain aspects of you this is really 100 you that is standing in front of these other people and they take you and love you for who you are okay so i'm feeling an energy what is changing here is that you are going to feel very very loved by the new people that are coming into your life and you're going to have an amazing time going to bars restaurants nature you're going to have a lot of dates maybe with a new bestie or maybe with your man with your woman okay there's something about a lot of beautiful time spent with other people okay a beautiful time spent with other people a beautiful time spent with people that you feel like really really reflect your soul and your spirit okay i'm really seeing here some type of celebration so i'm seeing here what might be changing is that you will go out more okay there's something about going out a lot more and i'm also seeing here your your social life is flourishing here okay there's something about your social life flourishing here that you will find yourself um being surrounded by people okay and the friendships are seem to be magical there seem to be synchronicity okay i'm feeling here like a lot of synchronicities happening between you and the new friends that are coming into your life where the connection will almost feel like we must have been sisters in past life that's the type of vibe that i'm picking up here we must have been sisters or we must have known each other from past life or there that why is this connection so magnetic okay it doesn't matter if it's platonic or romantic it's a magnetic connection that is flourishing here okay it might even be more than one connection that is coming to you so i'm seeing here a very active social life okay and i think this is something that you've been waiting for for a very long time here okay so let's get a few more cards do i want to take those maybe let's see I think I want to take those cards here. I'm seeing here what is changing is that you finally manifest a person standing in front of you. And when you look into this person's eyes, you see yourself in the most beautiful way possible. It feels like a twin flame energy. It's interesting because when I sometimes post uh, future stars readings, I see a lot of comments. Maybe you were also somebody who commented that, um, why does the description of my future spouse sound like me? 
because they are a mirror of you. They're made from the same cloth They have the same spirit like you, almost like a flame that is divided in two, but the flame is the same, okay? So when you find yourself listening to future spouse readings and you feel like that sounds like me, it is because your future spouse is a reflection of you. They will have a lot of similarities with you, so you guys come together because they will, they will either be the masculine or the feminine version of you. But if masculine and feminine energy comes together, it creates magic here. Okay. Let's see. What is the change that is coming to pile number one? Spirit. Okay. I feel like what is changing in your life is you're going to be extremely happy with the connections that you have. I'm also seeing here a lot of you guys what is changing is that you're falling in love okay you're either falling in love with a romantic and with a person romantically or you're falling in love with a person that is going to be your new bestie your new friend your new best friend okay you're definitely going to fall in love with another person maybe platonic or romantic here okay For some of you guys, I'm also seeing here what might be changing. This is for those who are actively trying to manifest a social media career or something on social media here. Um, what is changing in your life is you're going to have the ability to make, um, you're going to have the ability to transition from your normal job to becoming um, self-employed or becoming a freelancer because um, you're getting a lot of attention. There's something about blowing up on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. For, for those who are actively pursuing a social media career, it's definitely happening here, okay? We have the card prosperity here. We have the card victory. So you're going to be prosperous and victorious. And there's something about going viral or one video really blowing up or there's something about but a lot of followers coming through here okay so for some of you guys if you're actively pursuing that um you're gonna be able to make a living off of something that you do on social media okay or even like um, if you are not actively in front of the camera here there might be an energy where you're posting your products and there's something about your company going viral or something along those lines here okay what is changing in pile number one's life spirit. I'm seeing here what you have envisioned is becoming real. There's something about you saw something with your own eyes as you were closing your eyes, maybe envisioning friends, maybe envisioning a social media career, maybe envisioning your future spouse, what you have envisioned, your vision is becoming a reality here. That's what's changing in your life. Okay. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely entering. <laughs> you're definitely entering a new reality. That's what it feels like. Okay. Ace of Wands. Yeah, and the Ace of Wands talks about um, new connections. There's something about. I once felt alone, but now I feel like I'm surrounded by lovely people. I'm surrounded by lovely energy. I'm surrounded by people that I truly, it feels like falling in love again. It's something like, let's say it is a friendship, okay? You're going to talk to this person again, feel like it's your sister. You're going to feel like it's your brother, your lost brother, your lost sister. You're going to feel like he must have been connected in past life. There is no way in heaven, I'm not saying hell, no way in heaven that there's so many similarities and synchronicities happening here. Okay, you guys might have, um, you guys might also um, experience some type of magic, some type of uh, magical synchronicities or something along those lines. There's something about... Um, your reality changing here, okay? You're walking right into a new reality where you have a lot of connections, a lot of new connections. I'm seeing here a lot of new connections 
And if you're not already in a relationship, there's also your future spouse here. So you're going to fall in love. To keep it short and simple, you are going to fall in love. That's what's changing. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let me change decks here. Let's maybe go for this one. Okay, number one is falling in love. That's awesome. I'm also seeing here that you're going to fall in love with yourself as well. There's something about falling in love with yourself, falling in love with people, falling in love with the love of your life. There's something about falling in love here, okay? What is the Six of Victory about your spirit? It's a finish line. It's like I've waited so long for this to manifest. I've I've seen it in my vision, I've seen it when I closed my eyes, but now it is right in front of me. That's what it feels like. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. For a lot of you guys, this might pertain to a new career again. If you're actively pursuing a social media career or something where you need to be in front of the camera or you need to put stuff on Instagram, on TikTok, whatever the heck it is, you're going to be able to make this your new job or to start a new career here. It's a very successful career for, I'm specifically talking about somebody here that um, wants to do something on social media, okay? If you're thinking about doing something on social media, there's abundance coming to you. That's what's changing, okay? You you will be able, and again, look at this guy. I think he trained for a long time before he got those muscles, okay? There's something about a new career opportunity, but specifically pertaining to social media, okay? There's something about abundance coming to you for those who are actively pursuing a social media career here. Pie number one, if this isn't social media, I'm also seeing here for some of you guys, this is a new job that is going to change your life. This could be a job that is really in alignment with who you are, or um, it is a job where you can, you kind of like um, I can identify with the company or you can identify with what they do. So this could also be a job that you love. And I'm also seeing here falling in love at your new job with somebody, okay? Okay, and for others of you, <laughs> I'm hearing finding the real deal. <laughs> the real deal meaning a real soulmate, a real twin flame, the real deal is what I'm hearing. Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I say, guys, before the card came out, I said, made be friends or your man, your woman, the man, the woman of your life, it's gonna be long-term. Look at this card. This card is pertaining to or showing rings for engagement, right? You're walking into a reality where you have friends that are really, really committed to you, that truly love you for who you are, and you will feel like you can be, you can show every side of you. You will be in a committed relationship where this person wants to marry you. That is what's changing, okay? For some of you guys, there might also be an energy where you would travel for work or as you travel to a different country, there's something there. Um, wow, I'm seeing here for some of you guys, as you're traveling to a different country, maybe by train, by ship or by plane, that you will have an idea how to manifest wealth. So there's something about an idea coming to you as you're traveling. And it is the idea that is going to bring a legacy and financial wealth to you and your family, okay? This is a big deal here. I'm, we're talking about the real deal or a big deal, okay? There could also be an energy where there's a big sponsorship coming to somebody here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's amazing, man. And for some of you guys, if you're not already... Uh, married i'm seeing here that the person that you're in a connection with um they're gonna propose to you very very soon here okay either way i feel like what is changing in your life is you you're probably going to be in a committed relationship you're gonna be engaged 
you're gonna probably be planning your wedding here you know see where you are at on your timeline okay um and there's something about yeah it's like you're walking right into commitment your reality is shifting and changing because there's a commitment happening here it feels like a commitment a long-term friendship here or a career that is going to bring a lot of abundance to you for a long time this is like a long-term energy here maybe friends maybe the love of your life or maybe um for some of you guys here a social media career here you see completion four of wands talks about marriage a lot of you guys are gonna get married i'm just saying there's gonna be an engagement there's gonna be mom dad i'm in a relationship okay something along those lines here and for others of you i'm seeing a beautiful career transition here okay and that you can actually live off of what you're doing on social media or something that you do um when it comes to creative projects here one more card spirit what is changing in pine number one's life it's freaking amazing all I feel is blessed. I, I feel such a blessed energy here. Yeah, you see? And we have the High Priestess. You already knew that. We have the Cartier Success, bottom of the deck again. Okay. I wanted to say that I feel like what is happening or the change that is happening in your life is you're going to feel extremely blessed. You're going to feel so incredibly blessed by the universe. You're even going to look into the mirror and ask yourself, why, why do I deserve that? You deserve that because you have a humble, pure heart. You deserve that because you put a lot of effort and energy and time. You were very, very patient. Okay. You were very, very patient. And your heart is pure. You didn't get brainwashed. The word couldn't pollute you. <laughs> okay. Because I wanted to say it almost feels like what is changing in your life is like a... It, like a like a blessed chapter in your life okay and look at this card here how how he is being given something and it looks like he's kneeling on the floor which reminds me of praying and then this higher energy blessing this person okay what is changing in your life is that you're gonna feel extremely blessed with the shift in your reality here the high priestess tells me that you already felt it you already felt the shift in the year your gut feeling already told you i feel like i'm going to meet my future spouse i feel like um i feel like this is the right thing for me to do to manifest money i feel like i'm going to meet lovely people okay number one you're going to be prosperous in connections and again, for those who are actively pursuing a social media career, you're also going to find prosperity there, okay? After a long while of putting all your effort and your energy into it, it's going to work out, okay? And you will have a transition from one job to another or from, you know, like um, from having a 9-to-5 job to finally fully committing. Yeah, we talked about the Ten of Pentacles. Fully committing to being self-employed or... Um, and it's going to work out perfectly because we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which means you will be able to support yourself. You will be able to go out and have fun, okay? Um, meaning that there's enough money on your bank account with something that you pursue on social media, okay? That is what's changing in your life. <laughs> I'm seeing you here with the Six of Cups, just being very, very content with life. And to me, those cups represent uh, friendships and connections that you have. And they're flourishing and growing. Okay. Okay, my beautiful pie number one. I hope you like this reading. Claim the energy. Okay. <laughs> Put a comment. I am ready. Bring it on. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to see my next one. I wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number two. So you chose this beautiful image here. Okay. Let's find out what is changing in your life. I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to show you them in a second. I already laid some cards, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. But there's a lot coming through, so I have to <laughs> let you know what it is about. So I'm seeing an energy here 
that a lot of you guys found yourself that you had to make a had that you had to make a sacrifice in the last couple of days and weeks okay this might be sacrificing your social life in order to uh, realize a goal or sacrifice something there's something about maybe sacrificing your freedom or sacrificing what you really want because you have to go to this job and get the money and stuff like that there's something about you said you recently sacrificed something okay maybe giving up an old habit or maybe something on a bigger scale such as um sacrificing sleep in order to take care of a baby okay that's the type of energy that i pick up here there's something about a sacrifice paying off okay a sacrifice finally paying off i'm also seeing here it's very interesting because i'm seeing here that for some of you guys there's something about what is changing in your life is the way people look at you i'm specifically seeing here for a lot of you guys if you recently went after your dreams okay or you recently said you want to take a risk or do something bigger in your life and people were um doubting you i'm seeing here what is changing in your life is that people finally believe in you but first of all you believed in yourself okay you believed in yourself and um, you told yourself i'm gonna make this happen i'm gonna um i'm gonna show everybody that i'm capable of doing so okay there's something about an energy where people underestimated you people didn't believe in you people thought you were a fool for approaching something okay this is just gonna be for some of you guys okay and then i'm gonna go to the next energy because it's a lot coming through here um i'm seeing here that you approve people wrong meaning they will see you in a different light they will see that um you're getting to the top people will start to believe in you or to they will start to believe in whatever you're pursuing here okay there's a change in how people perceive you okay there's an energy where people will no longer look at you as somebody who didn't achieve anything or as somebody who's a fool who's just a dreamer dreams don't come true and stuff like that they're gonna see that dreams do become true and you are proof of it okay see my attitude here <laughs> and then for others of you I'm seeing here what is changing in your life that you might be um, able to finally overcome an addiction here. Okay, there's something about finally overcoming your weaker self. When I say weaker self, I mean um, you will be able to embody the best version of yourself because you have enough power to give up unhealthy food or you have enough power to give up going out and drinking and stuff like that there's something about even when it comes to your mind let's say you have like a very negative voice in your mind what is changing in your life is that you're overcoming something that is stopping you from pursuing a bigger vision of yours okay there's something about with the strength card okay you're gonna win over something that brought you down maybe your own mind maybe a habit or maybe people does that make sense okay there's a lion inside of you that is awakening okay you used to be a little lamb you used to be a little dog but now you're a lion there's something about you overcoming something with your own strength that brings you to the next level okay there's something about with the full card he's standing on top of a building here okay you will be able to overcome something that dragged you down you're finally able to quit a habit that you know is not doing anything for you let's say indulging in food or let's say you finally find a way to overcome this negative mind and finally you believe in yourself that's the type of energy that I pick up here. Giving something up in order for something new to come to you, okay? And it's something I'm seeing here. What is changing in your life is that you will be celebrating that you overcame something here, okay? Let's see, what is the strength card about, Spirit? Hold on. What's the strength card about here for pile number two? Princess of Wands, the journalist. Yeah, Six of Cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
what is changing in your life is you're becoming more courageous i'm picking up here there's something about your courage your strength your inner strength increasing i'm feeling an energy here where, where you're almost unstoppable because what stopped you, you overcame it. Does that make sense? I'm being brought to... It's a, um, it's a sentence in Moment for Life by Nicki Minaj, but she says, in the lyrics, I had to Google it because I don't want to butcher it. In this very moment, I slayed Goliath with a sling, okay? Um, and in the Bible, there's something about Goliath being so big... And I think David or David feeling so small. That's the type of energy that I pick up here. You will no longer, what is changing in your life is that you prove your own self, how strong you are. And you also prove other people how strong you are. The people that didn't believe in you. You will feel big. You will feel like, wow, I really must have a lot of power to overcome this, to make this happen. Okay, there's something about your power increasing or you overcoming a belief system, a habit of yours or people, whatever the opponent is in this case, and you will feel bigger. I'm not talking about ego, I'm just talking about you looking at yourself and feeling like you're really growing into the best version of yourself when you look at yourself. I'm no longer this little sheep that is scared. I am a lion. I'm hearing I get what I want because I pursue it. I'm feeling here what is changing. There's an energy of feeling that I'm feeling here you, you, your worthiness or you um, valuing yourself is changing here. There's something about at some point you felt very very small but what is changing is you will feel very very big for overcoming something that you didn't thought you could overcome or for something you manifesting something that you never thought you could manifest that's beautiful energy here the emperor the boss is here baby baby you're gonna feel like no circumstance and no person can stop me. I feel unstoppable. It's interesting because today when I was doing yoga, I was thinking to myself, yeah, there's a lot of opponents <laughs> in life. And there's a lot of opponents in life that we face, such as people who don't believe in us or people who trigger us or whatever it is, or circumstances just in general. And then I came to the conclusion, but sometimes the biggest opponent is ourself, meaning that we are the ones that tell ourselves, you cannot do that. That's not possible. Okay, there's something about you overcoming your biggest opponent. Okay, and as you do that, you feel bigger, taller. Again, not from ego, but you just will feel like there's a warrior living inside of me and nothing can stop me. <laughs> okay, let's see what the strength card is about here for pile number two. Let's see. What's changing in your life? Knight of coins. And we have, a, we have an elephant here. And an elephant is a huge animal, isn't it? The elephant also always brings me to Ganesh, the remover of obstacles. There's an obstacle being, re being removed from your life because you decided to no longer give in to your weaker self, to that negative voice or to some type of opponent here. Okay. You are moving into a direction. I'm hearing, I'm being brought to the word clean. 
okay because this could literally be like a detox i'm feeling here okay there there might be a detox that is gonna really spark the heck out of you that is in the air i'm feeling like a detox here i'm seeing like a very intense transformation but it the transformation is pertaining to strength okay not necessarily out of appearance or a glow up i'm seeing strength here that is developing it's changing in pie number two's life and we have the alchemist turning a miserable situation into gold what is changing in your life is that what didn't kill you could, it could only make you stronger but i also want to say you will be using the bricks that have been thrown at you to build a house there's something about you looking back i'm seeing here you you i'm seeing you here looking back at everything that happened and you will feel like i really did it i didn't know that i was so strong I didn't know I was capable of doing so. I'm being brought to a picture where a cat looks into the reflection of um, water. And then a lion appears in the reflection here. There's something about the perception that other people have of you and also the perception that you have of yourself. You will no longer see yourself as a little, excuse me, as a little mouse. But you will see yourself and you will feel it in your spirit like a lion or like a like an elephant okay what is the alchemist about here specifically spirit this the card here that also came out for you guys is the card sacrifice it says there are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you i'm being brought to the album by 50 cent before i self-destruct Something that you thought could possibly destroy you only made you a bigger version of yourself. You are elevating and going to the next level when it comes to your inner strength and how you see yourself. Okay. Let's see, what is the alchemist about specifically, spirit? You're gonna be celebrating. Yeah, I knew it. I felt it already, okay. With the celebration card. Oh my god, that's freaking amazing what I'm picking up here. With the celebration card here, I feel like what is changing in your life is that um, you're moving into a chapter in your life that is more celebratory and less about struggling because you struggled enough, okay? And I'm feeling an energy here where... I'm feeling an energy here where you tea you 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 um you learn a very valuable lesson from a very struggling time and whatever lesson you take with you into the future whatever lesson you carry with you into the future is the reason why you begin a new life or you you create a new life for yourself okay there's something about making something out of nothing okay and we come we come back to nothing and something we come back to a nobody and a somebody something somebody small and somebody big okay so i pick up an energy here what is changing in your life is that you feel like a winner or you feel unstoppable this could be pertaining to a specific event that would take place in your life. Okay, because I'm feeling here it might be it might be connected to some type of news that you will hear. 
Okay, there's something about overcoming a huge struggle, a huge opponent, and making something out of nothing, or where you thought there's no solution, or where you thought. I'm being brought to the movie Pursuit of Happiness here as well. Let me show you why. This kind of reminds me of the Pursuit of Happiness here, how he had those electronic devices and tried to sell them and then he lost his home and stuff like that. So this could, could be pertaining to financial struggle here, okay? And then with the Six of Pentacles, something i'm feeling here you're I'm, I'm also feeling here that you're walking into a new reality just like pie number one your new reality is about being above the struggle but at, at the same time using a valuable lesson that you got from those struggling times that will be able to feed you, feed your family, okay? And if it's not pertaining to financial matters, it is feeding your soul, meaning a new sense of living. The way you walk changes through the city. What is changing? In my number two's life, you're walking through the city as a magician, as somebody who knows which tools to use and what needs to be done in order to get what they want. But there was a point in time where you didn't know how to get what you want. That's changing. You know what to do in order to get what you want. The Emperor. You will no longer be scared of competition and challenges because you know what you overcame here was already very big and there's nothing that can stop you after overcoming whatever the heck this is here. I don't know what exactly this is pertaining to. Okay. I'm also feeling an energy of a stagnant energy finally starts to move and rise up and it also makes you rise. So this could be your status rising or this could be an energy where you feel lighthearted after a very long time of feeling somehow burdened by someone or somebody here or something I wanted to say the emperor and the magician tells me what is changing in your life is that you know exactly what to do in order to get exactly what you want there's a mental clarity in the air I'm feeling here you will be shown the way. What is changing in your life is you know the way or you know the direction to go. You know which way to walk. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Three of swords. Because for a long time you felt like um, you couldn't move. You felt like something is stopping you from pursuing something. Again, maybe someone or something or even your own mind. You're overcoming whatever is stopping you from leveling up. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. 
go from the Knight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Lovers bottom of the deck. And the Priestess. I'm feeling an energy here. What is changing in your life is there's something about, uh, something about becoming smarter when it comes to creating wealth or stability or bringing yourself to a higher status. This could also be you going to the next level when it comes to self-care and how much magic that shit brings into your life because your self-care routine is leveling up and how you will feel like things just effortlessly come to you but it comes from a place of an excellent self-care routine that is leveling up here or there could also be an energy of do you know what I actually want to say? Because I heard IQ. I feel like your IQ is going up. Your level of consciousness go is going up. There's something about you becoming very, very intelligent. Something is sparking. <laughs> okay, that's going to sound crazy, but I'm feeling here something is sparking a synapses in your brain. Something is being activated in your brain. DN I'm also seeing a DNA strand. What the heck is going on here? That makes you see things from a higher perspective. It helps you to be ahead of the game. I don't know what the heck that means, guys, okay? But I think you do know what I mean with that. It's almost like you will have a bird's eye perspective. Which means... You see the way or you see how to get to your outcome before you walk the path. There's something about your head being miles ahead of your current reality, but your head being miles away or miles ahead makes you do things in the present moment that bring you to that particular situation. Does that make sense? There's something about your intelligence increasing. I'm not saying that you're not intelligent. There's something about, um, something is activated here. That makes you understand way more. It makes you see your path clearly. To keep it short and simple, if I could give one example, let's say you, you are somebody that goes out a lot. You're a lot outside, you're meeting a lot of people, okay? You're a very, so you're a social butterfly, let's say, okay? Um, and then you realize that you feel quite confused about life and you start to overcome the urge to go out there and have pleasure and you just say okay I want to change something so you start to sit in your room and you pick up a book which is not you at all it's a different version of you and you pick up a book and that book transforms your mind and as it transforms your mind it also transforms your reality where what the author is saying in the book is knowledge that goes beyond what is being taught in school and it brings you to a place of either feeling financially stable or feeling like you know exactly what to do next to get to where you want to be or you start to paint and then you find out that you are in a trance when you paint and what you're painting are symbols that you um, channel and then when you look at your own painting you see the future that's the type of vibe that I'm picking up here okay there's something about your personality and your intelligence leveling up 
by you sacrificing something that you don't know that you know is not good for you it doesn't bring you anywhere and it is being replaced by something else that gives you the knowledge to get to where you want to be and there is clarity on your path okay Okay, my beautiful pie number two. I hope you like this reading. Let me know down in the comments if you resonate with it. I love you guys. And hello, my beautiful pie number three. So you chose this beautiful image here. Let's find out what is changing in your life, okay? Let's hop right into it. Um, the first card that is... Let me show you the cards, okay? So we have here the Knight of Cups. It looks like you're talking to somebody. It is somebody new, okay, we could, because we have the Ace of Cups here. And then we have the card, falling in love, kissing the divine in another, in yourself. So what is changing in your life is for a lot of you guys, if you're not already in a committed relationship, you're definitely falling in love with somebody here, okay? And for others of you, I'm seeing here there's an energy of falling in love with a project, okay? We're falling in love with a partnership, meaning somebody might be um, coming to you. It's a new energy. It feels like um, what is changing in your life is that you're going to have a very significant conversation with somebody. May it be romantic or may it be platonic. There's something about you meeting a new person that maybe wants to work on something with you, okay? There's an energy of either somebody wants to work on something with you, um, so that means this could be a platonic or a business relationship or it is quite literally a romantic relationship that is about to come into your life. So, so what is changing in your life is that you are falling in love head over heels with somebody or with an idea that is presented to you by somebody new that you are meeting and it is a conversation, okay? There could be a situation where you will have to make a decision whether or not you want to work with somebody but there's definitely an offer being made to you by somebody that you have like a, that you find very interesting it's a person that you really like it's a person that you see eye to eye with and again this could be romantic or this could be business or platonic here but there's definitely an energy where you will be in a situation where you will have to make a decision whether or not you want to work on that new project on that new idea that is being presented to you by somebody okay this could even be a conversation that you will have um, but I think it's somebody new here because we have the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups always signifies a new energy, okay? I feel like there might be a new collaboration on the horizon or there might be a new job offer on the horizon that you, you don't see yet here, okay? So let's see. Spirit, what is the Three of Pentacles about? Hold on, let me change the deck because we have the Three of Pentacles here. This looks like a big project, doesn't it? These are different people working on something big here, okay? Maybe a project, this could even be like somebody new that you're meeting, just to describe the energy. Let's say you're meeting somebody new, okay? And this new person is saying, hey, um, you know, I actually live in Norway and we have a company there. Would you like to look at our company and maybe, you know, work for us? Or this could be somebody saying, hey, um, I started this new project. Would you maybe want to come to my gallery and see my new artwork? Okay, there's something about a beautiful connection that is on the horizon, but it is pertaining to you working with them or them offer you, offering to work with you on a project, to work with you on something or to execute a new hobby let's say this person is saying hey do you want to come to my swimming course my swimming class okay um there's something about a new way of living or it is something that is going to make you quite happy because we have the wave of power here which says a surge of power upswing and energies exhilarating movement okay so it almost feels like you will be sparked your um your passion for life is being sparked by another person and by what they are offering you okay so let's see what is the three of pentacles about the wheel of fortune the emperor and the four of wands yeah to me this feels like because we have the death card here 
it feels like something is ending meaning whatever this person is offering or suggesting to you it is going to change your life big time this is not a small offer i think it's a big offer that is being made to you again this could be a career opportunity that is being um suggested to you like hey you know i work on something or this could be somebody asking you um to come to their gallery they have their own gallery they want you to come to them and all of a sudden you guys talk about something and you tell them like hey i always had this vision of something and then they're like okay let's make it happen we can also make it happen in my gallery does that make sense there's something about a conversation being very very important that is about to change your life for the better but it's a big change it's a big transition where you will have to make a decision do i want to take this offer do i want to work with this person do i want to work on this project do i want to change my job okay do i maybe even want to relocate whatever this person is offering to you it will make you feel excited about life it will make you feel full of passion and full of life okay let's see <clears throat> It almost feels like you're falling in love with an idea that is being suggested or presented to you by a new person that is entering your life okay yeah we talked about it feeling super duper excited about life it might even be an offer that seems quite crazy or again you know it almost feels like maybe let's say you meet somebody from Greece and you guys have such a good conversation that you exchange numbers and then they even like uh, tell you, hey, you can come on vacation, you know, you can come to Greece, I will be your guide, for example, okay? It's, it's a big thing that is happening here, but whatever is being suggested or offered to you, okay, so what is changing here is, is a conversation that is going to turn your life upside down with an offer that seems freaking amazing, freaking cool, but it requires for you to leave something else behind you, whatever the heck that means, okay, in that situation. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it almost feels like a fortunate career opportunity, a fortunate collaboration, a fortunate partnership that will make you feel like life is freaking amazing, life is crazy. The way we found each other and the way our visions seem to work together perfectly okay if it's not you falling in love with the person it's definitely you falling in love with an idea or an offer that is being made to you okay you're gonna be seduced to take on an offer you're gonna think about it but it's freaking amazing whatever's being offered to you here okay this could be a person that is of higher status um, but this could also be a person who is just i'm feeling here it's a person that is more advanced in life meaning like for example you um have a um you have an idea in mind but they already executed an idea that will work perfectly with your idea does that make sense okay so whoever is coming to you here is somebody with big visions is somebody who feels like let's help each other or let's um, it's all about community this is somebody who has a sense of community okay let's see what is the net of cups about here the death card again there's a person entering your life that is changing your life completely that is turning your life around it's a conversation that is completely changing your life here and they will ask you, what is your answer? Yes or no? Okay. What is the seducer card about here, spirit? <clears throat> the activist. With the princess of swords, it always talks about information. So your eyes will hear some type of information in the conversation you're being offered something big here but to me this feels like a partnership let's do something together let's make something big happen may it pertain to a job or may it pertain to a project or even a challenge here i'm hearing i'm hearing accountability buddy okay so this is something about 
a connection that is bringing you a lot of excitement about what can be created okay or what is possible here what is possible to create an experience in life okay what is the ace of cups about spirit <laughs> i'm seeing here a lot of you guys are thinking who is this person i'm literally seeing you here contemplating the tower yeah this person is going to shake up your world in the best way possible or this is about falling in love head over heels falling in love head over heels with an idea with a conversation with a collaboration with a partnership strength There's an offer being made to you, whatever it is. It makes you feel like, let's do this together. Like, I'm so excited, let's do this together. I cannot wait to work with you. I cannot wait to collaborate with you. I cannot wait to see your art gallery. Two visions coming together, two ideas coming together, two people that are on the same wavelength coming together and creating something big okay there's definitely whatever this conversation is going to be about it is going to turn your life around upside down again this connection will make you feel like you are in love with life again because it's exciting it is crazy, it is spontaneous, it is adventurous. What is being offered to you feels like an adventure. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. It could be something that brings more money to you or it could be something that will make you feel like you are part of a new community. You're part of a new group okay what is this three of pentacles what is this offer about spirit let's see if we can get a little bit more information here what is this offer about the knight of pentacles what is this offer about the it is an offer that your soul has been longing for. It is, a, it is an offer that your soul has been longing for because life might have been a little bit dull or a little bit boring, but that's the opposite here that I'm picking up. It's an offer that seems super duper adventurous, that seems... It's a fortunate meeting that I'm seeing here. And this meeting will lead to a partnership, will lead to a collaboration, will lead to you and this person creating something, bringing two visions together. For example, um, somebody like you always wanted to have your own garden and then you meet somebody who says, I'm thinking about buying my own garden here. And then that's a new project that makes you feel like you're in love with life because you love gardening, but you didn't have the opportunity to have your own garden. But then you have the opportunity to help somebody else in their garden, right? It's a type of vibe that I pick up here. Yeah, it is an offer that makes you feel like it's a huge opportunity. This offer will make you feel like so much more is possible or there's so much more that can come out of this friendship, connection. Um, that's interesting, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, it was my straw. <laughs> it, it, will, it will make you feel like um, so much else is possible once you guys worked on whatever this suggestion is. It is an offer that brings even more offers or more possibilities to you. And it's something that your soul 
is deeply in need of because it makes you fall in love with life again. Okay, falling in love with an idea, with a person or with a collaboration. Falling in love with a... Falling in love with a new group of people. Being introduced to a new group of people through a new person that you meet. Okay, I feel like it's a completely different world that you are entering through this person. And again, it makes life sweet. Okay, I feel an energy of like, this person is gonna show you how beautiful life can be only with this offer, with this conversation that is taking place. Okay, let's get a few more cards here. Which cards are we gonna use? Let's see. Spirit, what is this offer about? What is this offer about? You would definitely hear somebody asking you a question where you would have to make a decision about a huge ass opportunity. Okay. <laughs> opportunity or it's strictly falling in love with somebody. But at the same time, this is a person that you can work together with. Let's say you are an artist. You are meeting somebody who is either interested in art or is an artist himself. And then you guys create something together. Okay. Maybe you are into business. This person is also into business. And then you guys create something together. It's a creation that happens between two people. Where your energy is in peaceful alignment with the other person's energy here. Okay. Let's see. What is changing in your life? What is changing in your life? <clears throat> there could even be that you always had a vision for yourself where you want to be in life but you didn't know how to get there and i'm feeling here what is changing in your life is the last puzzle piece coming through to you through a person in order to complete a vision of yours or to finally make something big or huge happen here maybe relocation maybe whatever the heck it is okay this could even be like I always wanted to go to Paris, but I don't have the funds or I don't know, you know, it has been in the back of my mind. Then you meet somebody from Paris and they're inviting you, right? It's a vision you had, always wanted to go to Paris, but the last puzzle piece was the, this person from France that is inviting you there. That's what it feels like. It's definitely a fortunate event, a fortunate partnership that brings a lot of adventure into your life, okay? What is this offer about, Spirit? Can you tell me more? We have the Lover's card here. So for a lot of you guys, this is definitely you falling in love. And it's interesting because I feel like collectively, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of you guys meeting your future spouse soon, okay? Because part number one had the same energy, okay? A lot of you guys, you're meeting the love of your life soon. It's in the year. It's happening. <sighs> That's so interesting. Do you know what I'm noticing here? Let me show you the card here. Gray. You see how the um, how the trees are dead and the surroundings is quite gray and dark. Meaning, life is dull. Life is gray. Life is dark. Not life is dark, I just mean, <laughs> you know, like there's not much excitement happening or feeling like um, you don't truly feel alive, but this person is going to make you feel alive, okay? This offer is going to make you feel alive. Again, there's something about your soul and your spirit feeling like I'm living, I'm freaking living. This is the adventure of a lifetime. That's amazing. I love that. There's something about exchanging ideas with this person. And again, through exchanging ideas, what is being clear here is that you guys are the perfect team. Okay. 
What is this offer about, Spirit? <laughs> I'm hearing rose-colored glasses, but don't get me wrong. Um, I almost want to say you are meeting somebody who's a dreamer and they make you dream again or you are a dreamer yourself but you, you I'm hearing you met your match you met your match and what is being created through the both of you is going to make you feel like life is freaking exciting like I'm living I'm making the best out of life What is this offer about? This could be somebody inviting you to a different country. It could be somebody inviting you to help them with something that they're creating, a business that they are starting, a company that they're opening, a restaurant they're opening, whatever the heck it is, a project that they're working on. Hey, I'm designing t-shirts and you always wanted to do that and then you found your match. <laughs> Does that make sense? It almost feels like the right people are coming together, either because of love or because the universe wants the right people to meet each other for beautiful creations to be born, made even be a candle business, whatever the heck it is, okay? What is this offer about, Spirit? <clears throat> I feel like it's something that you cannot imagine, okay? I think it's interesting because I feel like, yeah, you don't see that coming whatsoever. I could tell you all kinds of examples, but I think you're going to be extremely surprised when it is in front of you. Okay. We have wands. What is the Seven of Swords about here? Two of Pentacles. I feel like this offer here um, is going to make you be in a situation where you will have to make a decision that comes from your heart and not from your logic, okay? Because your logic might tell you this is too good to be true, I don't know. It almost feels like, for example, um, you always had a dream, but then when it's in front of you, you get cold feet. I'm feeling an energy of getting cold feet as it is being offered to you, okay? Spirit wants you to look at this new offer, this new person, this new opportunity without the stains from the past. Don't compare this person or this offer to a person in the past because it's a completely new energy here. Because I feel like you're going to be excited about whatever is being offered to you. But it might also make you a little bit scared because it requires for you to make a decision and leave something big behind. Okay. But in your soul and in your spirit, you know it is what you always dreamed of. But it might require for you to leave your old job. It might require for you to relocate. It might require for you to let go of your independent self, okay? As you fall in love with a person, okay? As you fall head over heels for somebody. I'm also hearing make time for this person. Because for some of you guys I'm seeing here, um, you might tell this person that... Um, it's not, it almost feels like, um, if I could describe it, it almost feels like when someone is getting pregnant and they, or somebody's suggesting, hey, let's have a baby. Um, I'm not saying this is the case here because I'm not seeing a baby energy here. Um, but let's say somebody's like saying, hey, let's have a baby. Not somebody, I mean, it's your partner, right? Um, let's have a baby. And then you would think, oh no, my career and my job and this and that and this and that. But there's never a perfect timing to have a child, right? There's always something that can be accomplished. There's always more money to make. There's always a better apartment that you could get so there's something about um you will feel like um you don't know if you want to take this offer because it was not part of your plan yeah it feels like this person's shaking up your plan and you're gonna feel like can i do this can i handle that okay spirit wants you to be open to this person yeah the sun card be open to this because i almost want to say you're so used to the shade Look at that. I'm gonna speak in metaphors. 
you're so used to the shady energy or shady people that you might be a little bit scared of the sunshine here that you might be scared it almost feels like no i don't have time to go on this adventure or i'm um, you know like for example somebody suggesting hey come visit me you know you don't have to pay for the ticket or um you they say you can you don't have to go to a hotel you can stay at my house and you're gonna be like that is so out of my comfort zone and i have so many things that i need to get done spirit is saying you only live once okay look at this energy where you dive into the cold water it was not planned it was not planned but it's part of something that you dreamed of when you were a child or something that you always imagined would be really, really beautiful to experience. And it might come to you at a point in time where you don't feel ready. But sometimes it's okay to do things when you don't feel ready. Like, when do you feel ready to dive into the cold water or um, jump into this cold pool, right? It's gonna be a shock in the moment, okay? There's something about don't sabotage this beautiful energy here because of work, because of duties, because of responsibilities. Okay, it's beautiful to be, to be responsible, but life must be lived. Okay, Ad adventures, we are, we are living to experience adventures here. Okay, because I feel like, again, this might be, oh, I need to work, I cannot come and visit you. Is it really true or do you feel like, you, you you feel guilty for taking a break for example because that energy that i pick up here is, is almost like somebody suggesting hey um visit me in greece you know the tickets or the um cost of the tickets is very low next week you have a, a few holidays um left at work you do have the funds okay but then you say no I, I need to get this done, I need to get that done. Is it really true that you don't have time for this adventure? Is it really true? Okay. I feel like you're gonna, you know, it's gonna shock you. It's freaking beautiful, but it brings a lot of change into your life and you might be resisting that change or you might be so used to a certain way of living that this new energy is kind of like a, a shock moment. Does that make sense? But it's beautiful here, okay? So spirit wants you to, as this offer or as this person is coming to you, before you make a decision or tell this person what your decision is when it comes to that offer, go within, take a break, take one or two days, meditate on it, sleep on it. Okay. Whatever this connection is about, there's something about puzzle pieces coming together. There's something about a fortunate meeting that is leading to some type of working together or doing something together, getting something done. And it's going to make you feel like life is beautiful here, okay? This might even be somebody offering, do you want to move in with me? And you're like, heck nah, I've been independent my whole life. But maybe it's the adventure that your soul is looking for because you're so used to structure and things being done a certain way that spontaneity kind of died, okay? So maybe this energy is asking you to be a little bit more spontaneous and to make sure that you're living your life and not just paying attention to your duties and your responsibilities. Does that make sense? Okay, my beautiful pie number three. I hope you like this reading. Somebody's gonna fall in love. Okay, maybe with an idea or with a person. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to see my next one. Bye. Hello, my lovely pie number four. So you chose this beautiful image here. Let's find out what is changing in your life. The other pies were quite interesting. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> So let's see oh yeah i actually wanted to do something different with you guys i'm gonna choose a deck that i didn't use in the other piles um what i'm seeing here is you're going what is changing in your life is a huge glow up okay inside and out we're gonna talk about it in a second i'm just gonna get one more card here 
Spirit, what is changing in pile number four's life? You are going through a huge glow up, okay? And I want to say there's something about your sexuality. I'm seeing here, you're going to be a magnet for people. You're going to shine so much that people are attracted to you. I'm feeling here you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to dating, but we're going to talk about it in a second, okay? There's something about your sexual... I'm, I'm feeling sexual healing here. There's an energy of making peace with your sexuality or fully embracing your sexuality. I'm not talking about walking um, outside naked. That's what I'm talking about. I'm also not talking about like a, you know... Um, um, having sex with everybody in the city that's also not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is you feeling freaking sexy in your skin I'm seeing here for some of you guys there I don't know if you've done plastic surgery but there could be an energy where some of you guys you're thinking about plastic surgery or you're thinking about changing something about your outer appearance okay this could be you want to lose weight you want to gain weight and um, you want to you know get your nose done um, you want to get your boobs done whatever the heck it is okay it, it feels like a transformation for some of you guys, it's quite literally your body transforming, maybe through the gym or through plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery, or there's an energy here of sexual healing or something about, I'm also feeling here tantra, tantric sex, okay? But again, give me one second. Spirit, what is changing in pile number four's life? Angels and masters. That's interesting. This card never comes out here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let me show you the card. Angels and Masters. Okay. What is changing in pile number four is life? And we have wings here twice. That's significant. Life purpose. Okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about it. The Ace of Wands is always about a new passion or something that makes you feel very very passionate something that gives you a spark you know when you wake up in the morning with a spark with happiness with excitement for life but it is pertaining to your beauty so i want to say you guys are going through a major glow up i even want to say um with the angels and masters card i think what spirit is saying here is they're helping you with your glow up from the inside and outside so if you have been dealing with um, overindulging in food or maybe had a problem with your appetite okay that made you lose weight or um, too much appetite that made you gain weight or um, if you felt very very uncomfortable in your body because of something because of your nose your ears whatever the heck it is there's something about spirit helping you to either find an opportunity to change it or they're going to give you um, the energy to change it does that make sense there's something about um, you feeling beautiful in your own skin you feeling sexy in, in your own skin because of something that you try out that is new okay something you're gonna try out something new Maybe even it's your first thought of, um, you know, signing up for a program to lose weight, to gain weight, or going to an appointment to see how surgery would go, you know, if you really did your ears. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being brought to ears, but let's, let's roll with it, okay? And I'm not talking about one has to have cosmetic surgery in order to feel good. This is also not my message here, but what I'm feeling here is if it is something that cannot be changed in the gym and there is a possibility to do so, why not if it gives you a new sense of self that doesn't change your character, does it, right? So I feel here what is changing in your life is even if it's even if you don't deal with um, weight gain, weight loss or whatever 
some type of imperfections. I want to say there's something about making peace with your imperfections on your body and you feeling freaking sexy. There's something about you making peace with your body, you feeling sexy in your body, small, big. For example, let's say somebody who has a small chest, you're going to see that you're falling in love with your small chest. You're going to fall in love with your big boobs. <laughs> You're going to fall in love with the imperfections that you have. Commit to acting on new ideas and longings. Take a leap of faith. Begin again. What is changing in your life that is that you are taking a chance to do something new when it comes to beauty. This could be changing your hair color that gives you a new sense of living a new sense of feeling sexy okay something about i feel beautiful when i look into the mirror i feel sexy when i look into the mirror i changed what i am able to change in order to feel sexy and beautiful in my skin i feel sexual energy arising inside of my body I feel drawn to my own self. I would date myself. <laughs> okay. You're seeing yourself in a new light. Look at those eyes. You don't see yourself the way you used to. Maybe it is because you're really changing here. The universe is helping you here to change. Okay, they're going to give you extra energy to go to the gym. Or they're going to bring you an epiphany that helps you to love your imperfections. There's some, something like that here, okay? I'm really seeing here with the door, it, it says life purpose, I'm really seeing here with the door that you're walking into a room where you experience something new, maybe a course, a class, a gym, again, a, a cosmetic surgery, agency or office or whatever you want to call it you're walking into a door you experience something new that helps you to make peace with your beauty make peace with your sexuality find sexual healing this could even be for some of you guys healing from a traumatic experience when it comes to sexuality here Okay, let's see. Spirit, what is the Ace of Wands about? Eight of Wands. What is the mate about the Fool? And the Nine of Pentacles, baby, baby. Who has confidence over here? You guys have confidence. There's an increase in your confidence here. There's an increase in feeling sexy, feeling good, feeling desirable. Okay. What is the Queen of Wands about here? <sighs> guys, guys, guys. You are transforming into a seducer or a seductress. You're going to walk through the streets feeling like a beautiful goddess or feeling like an Adonis. Okay. It's not because of ego, it's because you fall in love with your own personality, your own beauty, and it comes together with if such a beautiful energy lives inside of my body, isn't my body also desirable? Something about getting comfortable in your own skin, feeling sexy. Maybe some of you guys, you're trying something completely new in bed or um, you're trying a new outfit, a new way of dressing, a new haircut, okay? But there's something, it sounds quite shallow, but what I'm talking about is that you no longer feel insecure in the company of other people or when it comes to beauty, for example, in case you had those problems or that you no longer can get influenced by advertisement or something along those lines. Like, you can no longer 
You can no longer be influenced to feel that you are ugly. There is something about I feel beautiful. And I don't feel the need to change or I took a leap of faith and I changed something and it made me very, very happy. Does that make sense? For some of you guys, you might also be falling in, in, in love with your natural beauty. For example, me, I found out that I look like shit when I put too much makeup on my face, like specifically when it comes to eyeshadow. So this could be something as small as that, feeling like maybe I'm a natural girl, maybe I don't like makeup, or I've always been a natural girl, but I've found so much passion and happiness in makeup, okay? I'm not judging anything or anybody here because for different people, different things work, okay? So keep an open mind here. And then, as you walk through the streets, feeling like a mamacita, senorita, <laughs> or like an Adonis, you are attracting people to you. Okay. See what that energy is about wow there's something about i'm seeing here an energy where you no longer feel insecure in the company of other people this might even be an energy where you felt insecure um when it comes to the opposite sex or whatever you are into okay um there's something about you feeling good in your body feeling sexy when you go on a date or you no longer feel insecure about yourself when you talk to other people this might even be um overcoming social anxiety or something like a, yeah this could be you becoming a social butterfly when you used to be somebody who's by themselves but there's something about feeling extremely confident in who you are and what you look like yeah but it hasn't been like that before this is a new energy here that i'm picking up you feeling like that like you know I like my skin I like my stripes I like my eyes okay I like the way I talk I love my accent okay I love my small hips my big hips my big boobs my small boobs I love my height that's a new energy here this hasn't you haven't felt like that your whole life Worrying if you are sexy enough for somebody or just in general. Because I'm feeling like a lack of feeling sexy or a lack of feeling desirable. That is changing here. That's interesting. Let's see. What is the Ace of Wands about your spirit? The Strength card. Yes, bitches. <laughs> Sorry guys, okay. <clears throat> what I'm feeling here is with the strength card. I keep feeling walking into a room and not feeling insecure about the way you look or who you are as a person. Not feeling insecure if people like you or if they don't. There's a sense of take it or leave it. I feel good about myself and who I am. One thing that I want to tell you guys is I've been thinking about it. I mean, I'm on, <clears throat> I am on YouTube and um, <laughs> being on social media also means you're sometimes exposed to people with different, different opinions or even like sometimes people saying stupid comments and stuff like that that make no sense whatsoever. Um, or even people disliking your video, you know, and um, something that the universe told me is that Let's say we talk about fruit. Okay, let's say a mango There's so many people that love mango mango juice mango smoothie mango eating mango raw mango chutney whatever the heck it is they love mango, but there's also people that do not like mango whatsoever. Does that change the value of the mango? No, it just means a different ta different tastes for different people. Okay, 
So even when we talk about like ice cream, how many flavors are there of ice cream? Not everybody's gonna like chocolate, not everybody's, everybody's gonna like strawberry, but that doesn't mean that the strawberry flavor isn't good, isn't as good as the chocolate flavor, okay? It just means there are people that love strawberry and people that don't. It just is what it is. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling here there might be an energy where you come to the conclusion that if you are too much for somebody or not enough for another person, this just means that they don't like mango, okay? <laughs> See yourself as a mango. I am mango. If you love mango flavor, come and get me. And if you don't, you don't, okay? And I'm feeling here, I'm feeling an attitude, you know? You see how I'm talking? There's something about your attitude towards yourself is changing or your attitude towards social events, social occasions is changing or um, your attitude towards people disliking you or you, people, you, people not um, seeing you as sexy is changing, okay? You no longer worry about what other people think or if you are sexy enough because you find yourself sexy. That is beautiful. I like that. Okay. An increase in confidence here and it does attract the people that like mango I don't want a person who likes strawberry get the heck out of my face I am a mango I'm not gonna change this is who I am this is how I was born <laughs> I don't know what this energy is here there's something about you no longer trying to fit the beauty standard or you no longer um, how do you say that you don't you're no longer comparing yourself to other people here and you're gonna wow okay i'm getting it now <sighs> that is beautiful um i'm being brought to a quote that says no longer worrying about other no longer worrying about what other people think of you is a different kind of freedom that's what i'm feeling here It's a different kind of freedom that you're experiencing here. You're walking through life way more lighthearted because you don't give a damn about what other people think of you. And it's at the same time, it's very, very seducing to whatever you're into, okay? Male, female, it doesn't matter, something in between, okay? We love everybody here. The moon. You're overcoming the dark thoughts that you have about yourself. You no longer beat yourself up. You're loving yourself from head to toe, every inch. And it gives you a new sense of freedom. I don't want to cry. Why do I always have to cry in readings? Excuse me. <laughs> but I want to tell, uh, show you something here. So the card that came out for you is um, angels and masters. So I think you're mastering. Do you sell self-consciousness? Do you say it like that? You're, you're, you're mastering self-confidence, I'm feeling here. And self-esteem. And a sense of self or understanding and valuing yourself, your voice, your eyes, okay? The way that you see the world. Okay? I'm even seeing here somebody, you're looking at pictures, I, I'm even seeing here for some of you guys, you're discovering your, your f sense of fashion that makes you look good because you no longer try to look like other people because if you try to look like other people and you buy, excuse me, you buy what they buy when it comes to fashion, but then you feel like I don't feel comfortable in what I'm wearing or I don't look as good as this person. Like they wore the same dress, but I look like shit when I wear it. And what I'm feeling here is you find your own dress that makes you look like a mamacita or you, you find pants or whatever the heck it is or jewelry pieces that make you look like, make you look like an Adonis. And then you look at the pictures and you're like, oh, I look cute. 
fun again. It comes from inside and outside, okay? But what I wanted to talk about is the um, that we have wings here, okay? And in this card, we have wings again. And, and I talked about how not caring what other people think of you is a different kind of freedom. And those wings remind me of a bird, okay? It reminds me of a bird and birds are the embodiment of freedom for me. Free from destructive belief system, free from destructive thoughts about yourself, free from this criticizing voice in your mind. Somehow you're finding peace here. with the darkness, even with dark aspects of yourself. Okay, making peace with the darkness. Making peace with the darkness, I mean making peace with the voice in your mind and transforming that voice in your mind here. Okay, let's see. Three of pens. And you know what I'm feeling here? In case you know you're not dating. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's dating or not. What you're going to notice how this whole energy is changing here is. You're going to notice that. How can I even say that people treat you differently because you walk into the room differently? Does that make sense? People no longer, because if we walk through life with like head down, we're more prone to getting attacked. But when you walk like that, you know, a monkey's gonna think twice if he's gonna disturb the lion. And we have a lion here as well. Seems to be a topic um, in today's pick a card. You're becoming a lion that people are, you know, like, not afraid, but they're gonna think twice if they make a stupid comment here. Maybe you've no, maybe you've experienced a lot of people like trying to bring you down or disrespecting you. That's gonna change here. Okay, you're attracting a whole different level of people. I'm feeling here. I want to know more. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with you guys. I think it's always pie number four where I take my time. Okay, give me one second. One second. Let's see what up. Okay, Spirit, how is this transformation changing pie number four's life? What change is it bringing? What change is it bringing? Oh, okay. The magic of the Koalin breed? Caution, secrecy. I think there's something unexpected coming to you here. Freedom. Mm -hmm. We talked about it. Feeling lighthearted and free. I'm also hearing what can your head be filled with when it is not filled with self doubt? It is being replaced with another energy. We have farewell to the moon, appreciate and enjoy the lunar uh, light and cycles. And we have the present gift, treasure, revelation of own value, revelation of own value and nowness. Okay. <sighs> That's amazing. Spirit, what is the caution and the secrecy card about? Mm. Mm hmm. The two of cups. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to show you the cards in a second. For some of you guys, I'm seeing here as you transform into the new version of yourself, into this new beautiful version of yourself. You've always been beautiful, but this time you see it. <laughs> um, I'm feeling here. For some of you guys, there might be old people coming back and it's interesting. How can I say that? 
I'm feeling here. For somebody here that is watching, you were in a connection where the person made you feel like you are not sexy enough, not beautiful enough, just not enough, period. And then you go through this transformation and all of a sudden this person comes back, wants to work things out with you. And you're going to look at this person and feel like my old version of myself would have wanted you, but my new version, the new version of myself knows that there's somebody new out there for me. Somebody that matches my energy. Okay. What is the secrecy card about your spirit? I keep seeing the six of cups here. How is it changing pile number four is life spirit? What is the secrecy card about? The four of pens. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking love it. Give me one second. I love it so much. You guys, you see how I'm smiling? I'm even in love with your energy here. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about those who already are in a committed relationship. You, you're not looking for a new boo. You already have your boo. I think how it is changing your life. First of all, it's gonna go great in bed. Okay, I'm thinking you're gonna have way more fun um, in bed. Your partner is gonna look at you and feel like, did you change your hair? What is that lip color? They're gonna desire you and you're gonna have a lot of fun and experience some beautiful moments in bed. Um, specifically, I'm also seeing his sexual healing energy. So there's something about your, the way you guys have sex is changing. It's becoming more intense. Maybe you find even your climax better, okay? Because of that transformation. Or you have it way more often or more intense, something like that. For those of you um, who are in a committed relationship, I'm also seeing how it is transforming your life, the transformation that you have within and the way you see yourself in the mirror. It also helps you to appreciate life. And what I, what I mean with that is if you look at person A that goes into a park and there's a beautiful sunset with a pink sky. Person A is thinking about their weight, thinking about if they are good enough, if they're sexy enough. They're not in the present moment. They're not gonna feel the rays of the sunlight hitting their skin because they're too busy thinking. And what is happening here, this transformation that is happening here is you're gonna become one with the sunset. Feel the breath, hear the birds chirp. Your mind is not occupied with destructive thoughts. It is occupied with breathing in the loveliness of the moment. And then for others of you, <laughs> for others of you I'm seeing here, There was this person in your past that thought you're not good enough for me i'm gonna put you on red i'm not gonna respond to you i'm gonna choose somebody else over you okay they just let you go such a beautiful butterfly instead of catching the butterfly they let the butterfly go how it is transforming your life you meeting somebody that doesn't want to let go of you. They see what a beautiful butterfly, what a beautiful person you are. The love that you did not get in the other connection, you will get double the love in the new connection here. This is gonna be a person that cannot get enough of you because you are enough for them. Not too much um, how do you say that? Because I'm, 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 
being brought to a quote that says, if you are too much for somebody, this person is just, I actually forgot what it is. It's something about, if you are too much for somebody, then that means that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I actually don't know. But there's a full circle moment here. Um, this transformation is gonna bring you a full circle moment where you realize, wow, I wanted to be in a relationship with this person from the past, but look at who's in front of me. I would have missed the love of my life if I did commit to this person. If I would have committed to this person, I would have never met you. I would have never met this lovely face. I would have never had such a fulfilling relationship if I settled for less. There's gonna be a full circle moment here as you meet somebody here, okay? I also feel like there's something, you're, you're kind of connected to the moon cycle here. I don't know what it is. There's something about, I feel like something is gonna happen for you um, around full moon, new moon. There's something because the card here says, farewell to the moon, appreciate and enjoy the lunar light cycles. Okay, so if we look at this card here, the moon is not quite there yet, right? But here we have um, a full moon here. So I feel like there's something about a full moon happening. I I'm actually, what I'm actually seeing here is for a lot of you guys, what is being hidden? Yeah, that's the thing. You see, what is being hidden from you is that you will meet the love of your life around a full moon, okay? I don't know which full moon it is. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you because there has to be still some magic. <laughs> but there's something about you meeting the love of your life around a moon, a full moon cycle. It has to be a full moon here. The full moon is here twice. Do you see that? There's a full moon energy here. Somebody's meeting their future spouse, their true love around a full moon cycle. Okay, you guys let me know. I don't know what the heck this is about here. We have the next full moon on the 13th of June. But again, I don't know which full moon it is, but it is a full moon where two people are coming together here. Okay, in case you are single and there's nobody um, that you're interested in right now. One more thing that I want to say is um, another thing that is changing in your life and then I'm gonna leave you with this reading is that you feel like you can sense things before they happen but you're more even if you already had that energy it's becoming more intense and more accurate there's something about your intuition becoming more accurate here or you feeling like you can rely on your intuition because you see over and over again that your intuition is spot on with whatever you're feeling here so there's also a confidence that comes from intuition and understanding the universal language or the language of the universe and signs symbols and synchronicities okay i'm also seeing here somebody's grandpa is coming through and your grandpa is saying this could be a, a deceased father or grandpa that is watching over you and they're telling you we're making sure or I'm making sure that you meet the love of your life or that you meet the right man or the right woman. Okay, that's another thing that I'm seeing here. Okay, my beautiful pie number four. I hope you guys like this reading. I love you guys. Keep on being confident, okay? <laughs> I'm going to see my next one. Bye.